clearly, you know, the, the, the fixing of these problems doesn't seem to be getting fixed with the third down issues. Um, defensively, what do you see that's going wrong at this point? Um, and do you feel like it has anything to do with just not having a actual defensive coordinator at this point? No, I mean, it's the, it's the same old stuff that we've been talking about, <clears throat> not being coordinated, you know, a play here, a guy here, you know, but at the end of the day, we just had to be better. I mean, if I had the the right answer totally to figure out why we wasn't getting on the field on third down today, you know, I would tell you. But, I mean, obviously I got to watch the film. But, um, you know, you can't start slow uh, on the roll, especially against a team like this. We knew that this team uh, was not a bad team despite their record. Uh, so we didn't start fast. And um, it's some good football out there. But, like I said, just not consistent enough. Fuck. Yeah, Kevin, you've talked to us before about, you know, the difference sometimes just being pride and getting off the field on third down and things of that nature. Are you seeing that kind of pride being taken by your units as a whole right now? It's the execution, man. Uh, not executing the defense the way it needs to be done um, on, you know, for everybody. Uh, we all need to play better. We all got to play better. And, um, you know, it starts in practice. We have to consistently practice better to go out there and play better. John Glennon. Yeah, Kevin, I, I know the third down situation. Uh, I know that's been a priority for a while now. Uh, how concerning is it that really, you know, for four weeks in a row now, teams have been hitting at a 50, 60, 70 percent clip on third down, even though you guys have been focusing on that? Yeah, it's been a concern since week one. Um, like I said, we're still concerned about it. Um, but at the end of the day, um, like I said, if I had to answer, we'll be playing better on third downs, but we're not playing great right now, and uh, it has to change. <clears throat> Jim? K KB, what's the frustration level like as far as the inconsistency? You guys play well some weeks, then you have a couple of weeks, and especially today when maybe you didn't play up to, up to your standards. How do you keep from uh, pointing fingers and kind of getting them on track? Yeah, it's definitely frustrating. Um, but at the end of the day, we can't get to a point where we're pointing fingers and uh, cause we got to stick together. It's a long season. Um, our goals are still right in front of us. So there's no reason to start pointing fingers and, you know, blaming people and stuff like that. If any, if anything, point the finger at yourself. And that's what I'm gonna continue to do. Uh, I had to play better as a leader on this team to make sure that we're in position to always win games and be better. So I'm gonna start by, you know, getting there early as I possibly can every single day, even though I already do that, but getting there even earlier, uh, more treatment, more meeting times, uh, just really trying to get everybody on the same page so we can play better. <clears throat> Terry? Kevin, if, as you look at it just from the naked eye, is there one or two things that maybe this defense did well over the last couple of years that maybe they're not doing as well that's causing some of the problems this year? I mean, from a naked eye, I can't really see from two years ago right now. Uh, I can only, really only worry about what we're doing now. We're not playing well. Um, that's really the bottom line. Steve Lehman. Hey, KB. You guys are such a team based off of swagger and confidence and those sort of things. And for the last two weeks to lose back-to-back -back games after your start, and especially the problems persisting defensively, how difficult is it going to be to get that swagger back for next Sunday's another big game? Yeah, I mean, the swagger comes from playing consistently. And we're not playing consistently right now. So the swagger hasn't been there. Um, like I said, it's, it's some good plays, first and second down. Obviously, third down has to be better. But it's still some good football out there. We're just not playing consistently well. And that's really what it is. We got to play better, man. Gentry? Kevin, you guys have talked in the past about how, I guess, complicated and intricate Coach Pease's scheme was. If, if you're trying to roll that over into this year, do you feel like – it's leading to situations where guys may not be on the same page trying to figure it out. Yeah. I mean, it, it shows that a lot of sometimes we're not on the same page as the defense um, by giving up certain plays and third downs and, you know, some big plays we're leaving out there on the field. So uh, it definitely at time we're not on the same page and it has to be fixed. Uh, and it starts, you know, early in practice being more detailed than we are right now. Um, but, you know, we, we, we're always going to play the plays and play the causes being caught out there in the field. And we had to execute those plays better to be better as a defense. Last one, Luke. Kevin, coming into this year, you all lost a handful of, of leaders that have been big in the past, Dean being one of them, and then, of course, Jarrell and Logan. 
has their leadership been replaced? Is there a, a voice or voices on this defense that are, are serving those roles to get everything under control? Yeah, that's the way the NFL works. You know, some guys leave teams at free agency, guys get traded, uh, coaches leave teams, and, you know, new guys come on the team. But I think I think the leadership on our team is strong. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, not playing well, um, I don't necessarily think has always to do with leadership. Obviously, we have to stick together and make sure the guys are playing together. But, I mean, you know, it's just execution, bottom line. Like I said, uh, we just had to play together better. That's really all it is.